What's up, guys? It's me, Min Mason, and today we're gonna be cooking. <laughs> okay, that was, that was just bad, but okay. Today we're gonna be making a bean and cheese. So grab your beans and. Oh, that smells pretty good. So, what? You're gonna want one of these sized for your beans. Or if you're making bigger sized, whatever one you want. So you're going to cut your cans, you're going to, and you're just going to make sure you get all that. Now a hazard has to be, okay, but guys, there's always a, a non-safe part in cooking. There's always going to have this problem. There might well. And so you're always going to try to. There we go. Yeah, I hear you. So when you try, when you want to get your beans, you're going to always want to go from right here. Yeah, guys, as you can see, right now, I'm having a lot of problem. Oh, yeah, shout out to Mason Music. It's me. Okay, what the hell? Do I have to actually... Okay, guys, I don't understand this, honestly. Cooking with cans way better with me. So go watch it instead of this crappy uh, cooking show. Yeah, your boy Mason's having some problems. So do you want to see this angle? Yeah, you probably do want to see this angle because it's weird. God, I hate this can so good thing much. Nope. Okay, guys, I guess we have to do the unthinkable. <laughs> oh, that worked very easy. Call me out in the comments, okay? Kind of like these beans cold anyway. I'm just going off of my mom's recipe, not, uh, well, my whole family's recipe, but, like, not a Taco Bell recipe. Actually, yay! Yo, you blew that stuff up like gaming. And... Yeah, get all that bean juice in there. Now with your spoon. Oh yeah, using a spoon is way better, I guess. No. Now I don't forget it. The hell's that? So you want to mash your beans. I 
and make them into just like smash them up and make them kind of like that. Okay. So you're gonna go in your fridge or freezer, wherever you put your. You want to get the Mexican finely shredded cheese because that's um, honestly, in my opinion, the best um, cheese to make in cheese. And that's why my dads are so good, bro. They're way better than Taco Bell. Oh, this smells way better than Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Finally. Okay, I have to wash my hands because I'm dirty as hell. Okay. So you're going to grab your cheese right now. Yeah, you're going to grab not a lot, but enough. And when it's all stuck to your hands. Kind of go like that. Then you put your cheese wherever you put it, wherever you found it. And then, just like what I did with the beans, mix it up. Mix it. Doodoo up. <clears throat> I know people aren't going to look at this, but I'm going to look at this in like 10 years and be like, why did I eat cold beans, bro? When I could have had them cooked to perfection. Yeah, so, how you see, that's enough beans. Wow! And I call this, guys, Mason's Beans, bro. Okay. So after you're done with each part, you might want to reward yourself with a little treat. Just a little one, like, a, like this tiny mint right here. Okay, if you're having mental problems like me, call this number. I'm joking. Not having any mental problems. Lot of fries, please do not call me out. <laughs> Better cooker than all you got. No, I'm just a friend. Bro. Okay. So when you are done with your beans, you want to move on to one of these pans. Black pan. 
I'm gonna set it on the big one. I'm gonna set that over there. Yeah, I'm the pro at uh, cooking bean and cheeses, nothing a lot. I feel like quesadillas is way easier than having to do this stuff, bro. Who the hell? Hey, bro. Talking Tom Gold Rush again, bro. So when you see this, yeah. put it right there. Cause what you wanna do? Wash your hands again and grab your tortilla. Tortilla. Now I'm using I don't know whatever tortilla it is, but I'm using uncooked tortillas because my dad loves to cook them for so some reason. And you're gonna throw that on there. Heat to about probably we'll put we'll put like eight or something. I think eight. Oh taco <laughs> Hey guys look I have a taco And 